Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a great day. We are working on projects around our house. How are you this morning? She is happy because her Granji and Grark are here. You can see our bed is in like the middle of the room and everything's a little crazy because this wall is being painted. I am so, so happy. My dad has been busy for the last couple hours painting this wall. And if you notice, the color is a little different from the rest of the room. You can kind of tell up there in the corner or over there. This is actually the gray that we used in Atlas's room. We didn't have any of the gray that our room is, but it's close enough. And frankly, I need this wall to be done so I can deliver a baby. So it's gonna work just fine. <laughs> The paint is still a little wet right now, so it will dry a little darker, but I kind of like this lighter color, actually. I don't know, which color do you guys like better? The lighter color or the darker gray? Getting this wall done really is the last thing on my list that I want to have done before Atlas is born. So once this is finished, he can officially come anytime he pleases. Yes, this is officially how I'm walking around. None of my maternity shirts even cover the belly at this point, so it's just like, let it all hang out, you know? So now, Granji and Grark are in our small kitchen attached to the portal room, taking things apart. I, <laughs> my mom was cleaning the oven, and I guess you took the door off? Yeah! And now it won't go back on. They're supposed to take the door off by putting these screws in there. Yeah. Oh, just to hold, okay, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't do that. <laughs> it came all the way off. Yeah, it just came off. This kitchen has been one of my mom's big projects because if you're kind of familiar with the layout of our house, our main kitchen is right next to the master bedroom, which is where I would be laboring. Yeah. It's on? It's on. Yay! Yay! Thank you, bro. <laughs> But when I'm in labor and even now like the smell of food cooking in that kitchen is so strong in our bedroom I can't take it. So the plan is they're gonna come over and cook food in here for Miss Chell Marie and themselves and everybody else. So yay! It works, yeah. It works, yay! Oh Chell, are you gonna help Penny get a bath? Fun. No, don't get in there. No, no. Just Penny. Yeah. Oh. Get her. Dump it on her. Dump it on Penny. Okay. Good helping. Yeah, a good helper. You work better than Penny. <laughs> good girl, Penny. Yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> There she goes! Yay! Bath's all done, Joe! Penny treat! Okay, we gotta get Penny a treat! Quick! Penny treat! Come on, wait! You guys are too fast! <laughs> okay, you gonna give Penny her treat? <laughs> Yay! It is the next morning and look how good our bedroom looks. I I know it's just like a regular wall, but huh? Huh? There's no patches. It looks amazing. Were you under the bed? How long have you been under the bed? You are such a goofy cat. Goes the Kristen. <laughs> Shell, when's your mama gonna pop? Do you know? When, when do you think baby Atlas is gonna come? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You tell mama, say pop, mama. Oh. Tell mama. Ah, pop. <laughs> You're cute, but not yet. Pop. Yeah, go tell Atlas. Come out, Atlas. She likes being an only child. No, it's not gonna be for very long. A couple more days. I think you are going to love your brother. I think you already do. I feel that. Yeah, you feel that? You feel him moving? He's moving around in there, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. In there. Yeah. Did, can you hear his heartbeat?
Heart. Heart. Atlas has a heart in there. Yeah. You feel him moving? Heartbeat, yeah. He's moving like crazy. Yeah, he is. Probably just heard her and I doing sheep noises. <laughs> bah! <laughs> bah! <laughs> sheep. <laughs> I'm a foot up there. Ooh. Like, I wonder why I haven't been feeling very well right now. My, yeah, I should know. Like, yeah. He's just like crazy. That's those little feet right there. Yeah. He's definitely head down. Oh, yeah. Just waiting to come out. That's right. Getting ready. Atlas, come on out, buddy. It's time to play. Come on. <laughs> Your sister's waiting. And your daddy wants to do lots and lots of fun things with you. I'm so excited. I know, me too. It's our son. Oh, I can feel that foot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not that big. I can't feel that that much. Oh, there's... Wait. Oh, there's a little something there, too. What is that? A little something all over the place here. So we are in downtown Tulsa. If you can hear me, we are at a festival called Mayfest where they have tons of art and food and kids stuff and just everything. It's a little quieter here. We're walking around Mayfest looking at all the art and I have to say, one thing is drastically different at this point in my pregnancy. People have stopped commenting, oh, look how cute your belly is. When are you due? They're like, you better get to the hospital. <laughs> like two people in the past five minutes have said that to me. It's crazy. It's not time yet. It's so funny. Like there's one person just like, they're looking at you too. It's not just that they're saying stuff. They're looking, they're like. <laughs> they just looked at you. It was so funny. It was like perfect. Yeah. You guys, you gotta help me. Corey, Corey is coming up with a plan in case I go into labor right now. He's like, okay, we'll put Chell underneath the car seat or I'll like hold her or the stroller and I can sit in the stroller and he'll just run us back to the car. Like, I'm only half <laughs> serious. Because, okay, we're so far away from the vehicle right now, right? Like We're like six blocks, yeah. Yeah. But our pace of walking right now and your your size. I, I can't walk very fast. Yeah, no, no, like I'm like, I've been hearing all these people going, oh, I, it was like 45 minutes from my first contraction until <laughs> I gave birth. And I'm like, True. well, we got to like get you back to the vehicle and drive home. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be delivering this child like on the road or on the side of the street. I don't it's know. It's okay. That's okay. I spent all night studying. He like, did. I, every night I do a little bit of studying, but last night was like, study hard night and so if you pop I'm, I need to be ready so I'm just looking at all things getting every little thing right you're looking we could just go into one of these restaurants and like be done just like have it there and then eat lunch it'd be great that would be that would be an interesting experience do you think they, they'd give us some meals for free maybe yeah what if it what if it what if it's one of those like places it's like hey eat free on your birthday <laughs> But what if it's your birthday birthday? Ooh. You eat free for life? Probably you should. It's a very special thing. After a quick walk through of Mayfest, we went a couple blocks down the street. Now we're at Blue Dome Arts Festival. I think that's what it's called, something like that. Yeah. And the first thing we see, bubbles. <laughs> Bubble dance party. <laughs> Try to get out? Hi. Corey, I have the perfect plan. If I go into labor, we can just get that guy to take us to the car. Oh yeah, actually that would be really awesome. That'd be like yeah. one of those like TV show things, you know, that happens on TV. Hey, and then like you should be like, oh my god, anytime I'm gonna pop and just scream bloody murder the whole way. Do you think he knows how to deliver babies? That doesn't matter. I'll be on that bike. Actually, I will commandeer the bike. I will buy this. Just bike, have him sir. push the stroller behind, and the three of us will get in. Yes, Got it. That's right. Good plan. I'll just buy it. All right, this is cool. 
and all, but I want to show you my favorite place in Tulsa. This place is so cool. We came across it one day just by accident. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I'll find her as long as she doesn't pop up. She doesn't pop up. Anyway, this is it. The Max. Dude, I am going to spend my birthday here. I swear to God, it is the best. Watch this. It's a bar. You walk in, and it's all arcades and beer, and there's Falcor from Never Ending Story and an old phone book. And just like, oh my God, this place is a dream come true for me. Like, like pinball games. And then like old games that are really, really cool. Like, like there's, oh, so many, oh, my God, yeah, oh. And like, what's this? I have no idea. This is the coolest. Old TVs, makes you feel like you're in the 80s. Some ski ball, like legit ski ball. And there's a Zoltar. Oh, I love Zoltar so much. I've made characters after Zoltar. Yeah, dude, this place is awesome. This is gonna happen on my birthday. I'm playing this, I love this. And Double Dragon, and Tekken, and Hard Body, wait, what? But most importantly, I'm gonna play this until I beat it, because I never beat this actual arcade game until like I played it on Nintendo. But this, no, I wanna play the arcade game and beat it, legitimately. Oh, place is so awesome. Okay, find my family. And I have lost my family. How, how, do, you, how do you lose a pregnant woman? Oh, they just moved up a little bit, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I was freaking out just a little bit. Okay, I'll take you back now. <laughs> We're looking at all the doggies. Aww. So we are headed back to the car with our tired little girl. She was sleeping. Where's your binky? It's Binky. Oh good, okay, you still got Binky. <laughs> I think she's not feeling good. Yeah. She's had a bit of a stuffy nose for the past couple days. Nothing like too major, but just kind of under the weather, I think. Oh, you guys, I had to I had to stop stop the car and get out and look at this turtle. I love turtles. Turtles are cool. Look at this guy. Look how big he is. That is a big old turtle, dude. He's probably oh man, his tail's super long. He's probably like a foot and a half at least. And what are all those things on the side of them? They look like leeches or something. Are those, no, those aren't, those aren't leeches. I don't know what those are. There's a part of me that just wants to go down there and pick him up, but that would be a bad idea. I feel like he would just like bite my finger off. Corey came and got chill out of the car and literally the turtle like moved. I looked over to see what they were doing. I looked back and he's gone. Please don't get eaten by a snapping turtle. Eaten by a snapping turtle. Or bit, you know, whatever, like. Well, I don't think he's gonna eat us. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna bite us if we don't get in the water. I don't know where he went. It's so like hairy, all the bushes. He could be hiding. They're not like velociraptors. Well, Chell, there was a turtle. <laughs> there was a turtle. But I don't know where he went. So I'm cooking food right now and I'm just watching videos of people going to India and doing things in India. I have this like, this real obsession with Indian culture and I want to know so much more about it. One day we will go there. One day we will go and we will meet everybody who's been watching our vlogs and we will experience the culture, we will experience the land. I want to see the good sides, I want to see the bad sides, I want to see the beautiful sides, I want to see the more beautiful sides. Even the ugly stuff's probably pretty beautiful, I'm sure. I don't know where I'd go though, like where in India does someone go for the first time? I know we have some Indian viewers, so please let us know where we should meet you guys because it's gonna happen. I've said that like 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, but I don't know how many times, but it's gonna happen. Pants came off, that means it's time for bed. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye!